Hi, it's Cassandra here. Here's the passion card reading for this week. It's the last day of February, can you believe? As we head into March, it's a timely uh, opportunity to yeah, think about this passion card. So on this card, you can see here, it's all about who inspires you. This is one of my favorite passion cards, also from the book, How to Find Your Passion and Purpose, which is on Amazon, this seller on Amazon currently. The passion card challenges us to think about who or what inspires us. It's a really powerful way to think about the things that, um, or people that when you, when you reflect on their qualities or the things they've achieved or the obstacles they've overcome, how can you tap into these people to inspire you to fulfill your best potential? And I was talking with a client just before who was talking about how her doubt, which is very common with many clients, many people, um, how her doubt limits her potential based on her past experiences. And I was sharing with her how people like, even people who are phenomenally talented, and successful and have a huge track record of success they often too have doubts and continue to have doubts and I remember reading about um, Barbara Streisland who in an article said that every time she gets on the stage she always always is really doubtful of her ability and says oh I wonder if I can really dazzle my audience tonight and then that doubt actually, rather than limit her, it fuels her to dig deep and bring out her best performance. So I think there's something really powerful and humbling about remaining a little bit doubtful, but it's a fine balance. You don't want to obviously let doubt rule. You want doubt to inspire you to be your best and to stop you from feeling complacent or arrogant. So this card number 14 basically um, encourage us to look for your heroes and allow others' enthusiasm and passion to excite you. Play detective, do some research, and uh, make it your task to surround yourself with people who inspire you. This could be something people, uh, examples that you put in your passion journal, or maybe you hang around with a Facebook book group if you're living remotely. Uh, ideally you go to a meetup group and hang with inspiring people or maybe you go to a seminar um, which is by someone who inspires you or maybe just read about the lives of people who are now past but continue to inspire you so uh, the, I'll leave you with this quote on the back of the card which says inspiring people are like vitamins for our souls I hope this has been helpful. I look forward to hearing all about who is inspiring you at the moment. This has been Cassandra and I look forward to chatting again really soon.